Hey everyone, here's Danny again and this time around I'll be doing a special unboxing video of a package that came all the way from Japan and you know what, let's skip all the mambo jumbo and let's get this package open I'm just too excited <laughs> Okay, right, so I've got my cutter right here uh, Oh my god, <laughs> this is gonna be amazing! Oh my god, guys. Da, da, da. Wow, look at this package! It's like. <laughs> I'm very impressed. I am very impressed. Oh my god. Are you guys able to notice what's uh, in here? Yeah, it's very colorful, it's nice and I don't want to open this guys I... Let me take a quick photo, okay? Let me take a quick photo uh... <laughs> I've actually been looking at this package like the past few minutes <laughs> I'm just amazed at this packaging. I mean, wow. Japanese packaging is amazing. <laughs> but okay, I think I just wasted two minutes uh, for this video just now. Uh, let's just go straight opening it. Uh, Alright, let's take this out. And take it out. There you go. Okay. Now, just uh, another layer. Yep, you can see it. It's a uh, Rico, right? So, uh, you're not gonna see this <laughs> anywhere else. So, here's the thing, right? So, I bought myself a uh, Rico FF90 Limited Edition uh, from eBay. Uh, this particular one is actually a new old stock. So, you know, basically, despite being limited for 2,000 units, I think, if I'm mistaken, you know, it, there's still a new odd stock, so this one wasn't sold. <laughs> uh, quite interesting, right? Mm. Alright, so... When you see this, when you see the video, you probably, I'm just probably going to cut it straight to when I'm done unpackaging this whole thing. Like, now. Alright guys, so I'm just going to unveil this whole thing for you. One, two, and three. Look at this. Look at this box, it's pristine. Wow. I mean, look at this, right? It's, it's, it's really brand new guys. It's really really is brand new. Um, wow Everything about this looks really brand new just for your information, right? This actually was made in 1992 right and How did how did they manage to keep this right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, I was supposed to stop when I saw this on eBay and you see, I did something that I told myself not to do, which was the gear acquisition syndrome. And well, to be fair, right, I already have a GR3 for my daily drive, daily use. It's a compact camera, so what other gears do I need for that, right? Nothing. Then I've got my Minolta XGM and XG9, which I already plan to sell the one of the lens, 50mm 1.7, so that I could get, uh, you know, I could use the fund to buy uh, 58mm 1.2 for portrait photography. Then I also have a Yashica GSM35 Electro, uh, which is in a repair shop right now. Another repair shop that is taking ages to repair. Uh, I have with me as well uh, in my drive box uh, the Pentax 70s zoom 
autofocus, uh, not a great camera, it's compact, uh, but you know, it has been with the family since the 90s, right? So, so why did I even buy this? Simple. I just wanted it. <laughs> right, uh, well, you see, I've already been using the Ricoh DR3 as my everyday street photography camera. I love the camera so much that I've been able to actually improve my street photography with it in the past few months. Uh, and the Minolta cameras, I decided to just use it for, you know, uh, to shoot portrait and fine art photography. Uh, I'll do another video on the Minolta about this Minolta thing uh, in the future, right? But then I also want to do street portrait photography. Now, taking photos of strangers like Brandon Stanton of uh, Humans of New York or, uh, you know, there's this YouTuber, uh, Frederick Trofaten. I hope I said the last surname correctly. He's in Mexico, he's, he's a Danish in Mexico. He's been taking photos of, uh, you know, Mexicans in on the streets. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do something similar, right? Uh, Frederick Trofaten, he he has been, he had been using the, what do you call that? Rollerflex 2.8F and, you know, it's a rare find and it's really expensive in Indonesia as well, if there is one, right? I look it up on eBay and they are expensive. So, uh, yeah, I might be being a, an old romanticist, but I think that shooting portrait with you know, with film, give a certain charming, delightful, picturesque kind of feel into the photograph. Especially shooting portraits of people you don't know, right? Uh, yeah. So, uh, enough talk about that. Let's just open this right now. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh my god, guys. Guys, 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 look. The original price of this is 35. I hope you can see it. 35,000 yen. That's. Did I pay for 35,000 yen? Maybe. I, I got it for like 300 something US dollars on eBay. Uh, maybe it's the equivalent. And. Oh, Okay, excuse me for doing this, but oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look, look, look. guys, this is totally brand new, there's a pouch inside, brand new, there's a strap, oh my goodness, there's a strap, brand new. I don't know what this is, but we'll figure out later. Yes. Okay, let's. How do you open this? Where's the camera? I hope it's inside. Okay. It is inside. Okay. Ready, guys? Oh my god, did I just win the pouch? No, I didn't. <laughs> my god. Why? Oh, why did it open just now? Oh my god, did I just. <gasps> wow! Wow, look at this beauty, right, oh my god, there's nothing, it's, it's super mint guys, look, and just for your information, if you guys can read this, uh, I'm, I don't think you can guys read this, but it says, you know, number, Number 1,085 out of the, oh, 20,000, not 2,000 units, 20,000 units, okay. 
it's all right but uh, this is amazing let's let's see All right, guys, my bad. Uh, suddenly the GoPro just now, it it, it turned off. <laughs> Think the battery, the battery got overheated. Uh, normal issue. But let's get back to this Rico, right? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, this is the first time seeing it, I'm, I'm speechless. This is all plastic, but it looks so much fun you see the reason why let me just get this off the way first but yeah the reason why you know i bought this as i said i also want to do street portrait photography and i found that uh, my style of street photography is very compact very mobile and you know as much as possible i would, I would want to get uh, near to the subject right of course you know one meter apart at the very least right uh, and you see i look up to photographers japanese photographers like daido moriyama Tatsu Suzuki, right there. Then I also look at uh, look up to photographers like uh, William Klein, for example, right? And I think I think the style of photography that I really want to embody is a combination of those three people, and uh, and among with you know a couple of others, but like make it my own kind of thing. So yeah, you know. <laughs> Why did I buy this? It's, it's compact, it's light, it's interesting to see, it's very cute to look at, right? Uh, transparent, colorful, uh, and it looks like a toy camera, doesn't it, right? Uh, but <laughs> this may be like a toy camera, it has amazing specs, you can Google specs on, on your own, right? So, and I thought that if I want to capture or I want to attract my subjects that is so near, right, without looking too intimidating with my GR3 or my uh, Minolta SLR, for example, right, you know, I would want something for them to see something interesting. You know, it's like when you go to a uh, when you go to a photo shoot as a kid, right? The photographer would always have like some kind of like, you know, something to distract you and try to make you laugh and stuff like that. So that's what I want to do, but I don't want to do something too weird. So I thought like a camera like this would be uh, very interesting for them to to attract the attention of uh, people, right? Uh, yeah, and people won't get intimidated by this, uh, I guess. Uh, they shouldn't because it's it, it's so fun to look at uh yeah i mean i'm so amazed with this seriously i'm so i'm really amazed with this <laughs> uh that, that's pretty much the reason why i got this camera i want people to actually the kind of strip the kind of street portrait photography that i'm looking at is that something that people will notice me and they have certain reaction after seeing me and um, you know but again, as I said, using my other cameras that I own right now, they may be intimidated. But with this, come on, with this. Oh, the viewfinder is super clean, guys. Wow. Everything but this is clean. Uh, and goes going back, when people look at this, right, they would either look at me with a weird look, like, what is this guy doing? Or, you know, hey, that's quite a cute camera and they would laugh or smile or something like that. And I want to capture that, right? I want to capture that as well with the surroundings uh, that I'm at, I'm at at that point of time, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this tomorrow. First thing tomorrow, first morning. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go out, uh, regardless whether it's rain or not, I'll find somewhere so that uh, I could be sheltered. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is not water resistant at all 
or what where they see it. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna use it tomorrow. Uh, so yeah. Sorry if you're expecting you know some photo samples from this camera in this video. Uh, I mean I just unbox this and you can see from my expression it's um, I'm I'm wowed by this camera. Uh, but I promise you my next video after this will be you know my a POV video that I uh, use with this camera and you know at the very least out of the 36 exposure in a film i'll be showing you guys 24 uh outcomes out of that uh, film so yeah with that uh, stay tuned and as you guess i'll see you guys very soon Tschüss. how do you open the battery let's let's read the manual The manual is in Japanese. <laughs> uh, oh God, what have I done? It's it's all in Japanese. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my mom to translate this for me. Okay.